What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a spoiler review for No One Will Save You. No One Will Save You is directed by Brian Duffield, who also wrote the film. It is revolving around a young woman named Bryn Adams, I think her last name was, who's been alienated from her community, finding herself in a face-off against a host of extraterrestrial beings who threaten her future while forcing her to deal with her past. Now, this role is occupied by Caitlin Deaver, who does a phenomenal job in the rollout ad. Before I get into the review, I did want to preface this by saying that a lot of you who saw the film already, who were asking me if I had seen it, you were telling me to go in as blind as possible. So I didn't even watch the trailer. I still haven't watched the trailer as of this recording. I most likely will watch the trailer after I get done with this. But I went in as blind as I could. And I'm going to watch the trailer to see if not it's to see if watching the trailer maybe would have changed my thoughts on this at all probably wouldn't have because execution again is everything i've always said that in a lot of my other videos for those of you who watch my channel religiously well not religiously but just watch my channel frequently i should say okay so diving into the review no one will save you i thought this was a highly captivating film that offered an interesting approach to this alien alien invasion subgenre so far, I'd see myself putting this in my top 10 of the year. I can see a lot of you doing the same thing by the time you see this. Brynn Adams is alienated from the rest of her community who seem to despise her and she suffers from severe anxiety. She doesn't even speak a whole lot. So the film relies heavily on the talent of Caitlin Deaver, who again does an exceptional job in this role as our protagonist. Brynn has created this life of secluded happiness, but inside within herself, she's filled with this constant regret and sadness that's very apparent Thanks to, again, Deaver's tremendous acting. Bryn has two tragedies that she's recovering from, and one of which, which intertwines with our conflict with our aliens, happened nearly a decade ago. And the context of the specific tragedy is peeled back slowly as the film progresses, which I thought was a very nice touch with the screenplay and how it was brought to life and executed on screen. Um, so Brian Duffield's screenplay does a... or. Yeah, Brian Duffield's screenplay does a terrific job at establishing a character that I can relate to, root for, uh, and just grow invested in before the chaos ensues, while also keeping me interested why in why this town hates her so much and what exactly went on and peeling those layers back. We don't get unnecessary exposition dumps, exposition dumps either. This film is very very much so confident in showing you not telling you so it's not preaching to us like we're idiots and that we can't put two and two together it dangles the mystery and then it peels it back layer by layer while the alien invasion is ongoing the town not liking her is obvious from the facial expression she receives and how she's reluctant to interact with certain people Bryn's false sense of happiness is undone by a home invasion, which of course ends up just being a full-fledged alien invasion. The terror in this film doesn't come from cheap tactics either. It mostly comes from disturbing shots, grotesque sounds, Caitlin Deaver's facial expressions, and building mystique around our invaders. No One Will Save You is constantly swelling in its scope as it progresses, which only amplifies the intensity of this experience and the terror that is always present. It's like a 90-minute anxiety attack that gets under your skin and keeps your mind working as Bryn fights to survive this invasion. An invasion that pulls at your heartstrings just as much as it will terrify you. Despite some aspects of the story being incoherent on my first watch, uh, a lot of that is done intentionally, I would say, because some stuff, again, they're not beating you over the head and holding your hand entirely. This is going to require a rewatch to pick, pick up on certain things in, in regards to what exactly was going on with our invaders. The intense moments do get to linger so there's some great pacing in this film there's great pacing in this film brian duffield directed the hell out of this for the most part uh and i do mean great the pacing here is phenomenal the intense moments again they get to linger and help get you on ease and get you on the edge the cinematography is beautiful specifically the shots with red lighting as they are captured in a way that enhances the story's emotional aspects and the more dreadful sequences like an intense encounter Bryn has with an alien on the ceiling that i'm thinking about which really got to me because of how disturbing i thought that was the sound design alone was enough to keep me on the edge but there are a lot of disturbing visuals in this film as well for a pg-13 horror film i have to give it its props this is the type of stuff that makes me confident in the fact of saying that you don't need to be rated r to be scary 
you can be PG-13 and do stuff like this. We've seen it done in the past with Insidious. We're seeing it done once again with a movie like this. What happens, though, is that you get a lot of the PG-13 horror films that don't do this. They are doing the opposite of what I cannot stand. They're always relying on jump scares. This movie is not doing that. Caitlin Deaver, again, she truly shines here. Despite having almost no words spoken, Bryn's emotions are communicated just fine and done in a very profound way that helps me like like the character helps me want to see her grow and helps me want her want to see her survive she's not the only cast member but she's the only one worth mentioning many of you will agree by the time you get done watching this i would say the visual the visual effects were fine i'll always prefer practical but this wasn't a bad effort by any means nothing impressive about the design of our aliens either but the overall presentation of them was very terrifying, very menacing, and very much so something that will get under your skin and keep you on the edge of your seat. Overall, I would have to give this movie a eight and a half out of 10. I'm giving it an eight and a half out of 10. Again, I recognize that it's not perfect. I'm not saying it's one of the best films there is, the best of film. I'm not saying it's the best film there ever was, obviously either. Uh, but this was a very good alien invasion horror film for what we got. Hats off to Brian Duffield, hats off to Caitlin Deaver, and I look forward to seeing what else he has under his belt and whatever he gets to do in the future. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications that you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.